Mama Joyce, please, in Jesus' name, we hand it over to you. You are right Amen. on time. I'm going to give that to you. Amen. Amen. Uh, do the praises now and let's see. I know you feel okay. more, but just try the praises and let's see. Amen. I have joy in my heart. I have joy in my heart. I have joy in my heart. Jesus gave me and no one can destroy I have joy in my heart, deep within in my heart. So I gave to me and no one can destroy I have joy in my heart. Deep within in my heart. Oh, I have God in my heart. Deep within in my heart. Oh, Jesus. And no one, no one can destroy I have joy in my heart. Deep within in my heart. And no one, no one can destroy it. I have joy in my heart, deep within in my heart. Oh, you are so good. Oh, you are kind. Oh, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. God, you are so good. God, you are kind. God, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. Excellent is the name. Excellent is the name. Yeah, the you are the most 
has done great things. Oh, 
eyes of ours be thy glory. Great things we have done.
We celebrate you because you are King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We say, take all the glory and take all the praise. We love you because of who you are. We worship with you. We celebrate your holy name. Glory be to your holy name, now and forever, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you, Sister Blessing. That was great. Amen. Amen. God Richard bless you. Saints, Sister Blessing has given me enough time to talk, so I'm going to be very snappy. Ada! <laughs> God bless you, it's long time. I was thinking about you last night. I believe you are doing well. Saint. Hello, Pastor. Amen. Yes, sir. I said it has been a while. Yes, yes, Pastor. Yes, I believe it is well. Yes, Pastor. I always um, receive your messages and then I listen. God so bless you. Life. You are in spirit. In spirit. Amen. <laughs> Yeah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Saints, Amen. we are in the preparation for journey to heaven. Uh, it's always great to know what is awaiting for you for the step that you are making. And uh, it helps us, it motivates us, encourages us to push forward, irrespective of all kinds of strongholds and uh, labor setbacks and all kind of uh, challenges. One thing that I want you to share with you that our joy are going to be greater as we see today. And everything that we are going to receive are going to be eternal, permanent. It will never change. That is the most excited part of the whole thing. Your beauty and my beauty is going to be permanent forever and ever. The building that Christ is building for us is going to be for us forever. Heaven is a place that Christians are going to be partakers of things that belong to Christ. We are going to be partakers of everything that the Lord had designed. That causes us to rejoice and be glad in the Lord. Listen to what the book of Hebrews said. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling. Consider the apostles and the high priests of our profession, Christ Jesus. I want us to do only the partakers of heavenly callings. We are still doing this week, we are dealing with the eternity or the eternal, the future for a righteous person. He said we are going to be partakers of heaven. Everything that Christ has or is in heaven, we are going to be like that. We are going to have communion with the Father. We are going to have communion with the Holy Angels. We are going to team up with them. They are going to tell us so many things. Although they are going to be lesser. But still, so, they will be privileged to have us around them. Heaven is rejoicing when a, a sinner changes. Heaven rejoices when one soul comes to heaven. 
So I want you to be aware of the great things that is awaiting for us and heaven is waiting for our arrival. Verse 14, the same Hebrew chapter 3. For we are made partakers of Christ. If we hold the beginning of our confidence, step us unto the end. We are partakers of Christ. Everything that Christ is, we will become. Let's go to chapter number 6, the same Hebrew chapter 6. Hallelujah. Amen. Saints, we have a great place to go and rejoice with the Lord. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have listed to heavenly gift and were made partakers of Holy Ghost. So we are also partakers of the Holy Spirit. We are going to be partaker of Him forever and ever. The power that controls the creation, we are going to be partakers. Saints, don't underestimate who you're going to be tomorrow. Don't underrate the thing that God has for you and me. When you look down upon them, you will give up. So we are going to partake of heaven citizenship. Last time we were reading the book of uh, uh, Acts chapter number, is it chapter 16, that Apostle Paul was challenging that he is a Roman citizen. Citizen, citizen. Yes, born as a Roman. Apparently, the 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 assumption is that his parents were taken into into Rome as one of the people that were prisoners of war. That the school of thought how he became a citizen. So basically Paul was born there. So he was, he had the citizenship as Roman uh person or the other school of thought was that he could have changed it as we travel from africa into this country and we change our citizenship to take the other citizenship apostle paul was proud to be a roman citizen Everywhere he went and he was being attacked, he would stand on his citizenship. And that opened the door for him to preach in many places that nobody could touch him. So saints, citizenship is quite an important thing. That's why most of us when we travel to uh, Europe, we change our African citizenship to take the European citizenship. Why? So long as I'm here, I don't need my African citizenship here. So I need to be a citizen here. Tomorrow if I want to go, I can give them their passport and I'll go back to Africa and I stay there. 
Citizenship is very, very important. So we are going to become citizens of heaven. You don't understand that one. Hate to be a citizen of hell. Talk less even to, 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 to visit there. To be a visitor, even hate it. I was once talking to one of our sisters and she said, Lord, Pastor, I won't go to take me to heaven. I said, No, ask for you. I want him to take you to hell first. <laughs> So that he will burn your little little unbelief. <laughs> so that you believe and now you be afraid. Amen. Amen. Saints, we must be very, very cautious. Because we are partakers of heavenly callings. And when we talk about partakers of heavenly calling, meaning that we are going to be one with the Father, one with the Spirit, one with the Son, one with the angels. Verse 8 of Hebrew chapter 12. But if ye be without chastisement, wherefore all are partakers, then are ye bastard and no sons. The Lord wants us to become his children. There are so many foolishness in all of us. I am the greatest of all of them. <laughs> but suppose that God, Jesus came to save the world that the great sinners that I am the greatest among all. The Lord loves us so much and whenever we make mistakes, instantly he corrects us. When we turn our eyes away to go and look, in, to look at anything which is not good for us, the Lord will always rebuke us. We are heavenly citizens. We are not earthly citizens. Therefore, we don't entertain ourselves with anything filled sin. I want to appeal to you again. Whatsoever we look at, whatsoever our eyes touches, it registered in our spirit. It become part of us. There is no way that a man can look at the woman's nakedness and he will not last after her. So we must be very sensitive and apply it to every sphere of life. I want to appeal to you as many of you that you go and watch those makeup, eyelash, and those dresses and other things, you take it along with you on our It weakens our spirits. That's why I'm challenging you. Let us stop watching and sharing those videos. Even when somebody sends them, don't, don't spread it. Just kill it. Will you be happy to send porn to brethren, somebody have mistakenly sent it to you? Are you going to send it? I don't think any one of us here will do that. Not even among your siblings. If we consider all these things that the Bible speaks against, that we are helping ourselves to come to the understanding. If we consider them as porn, if you consider them, if you consider makeups and eyelash, if you consider all these are so filthy are the same, we won't share them. So who said, and near my, said, 
e fin ya mate se e make up eyelashes ni ya me ya wu se e ye fin no se wu se sa de ba wo nyina e ye fin kra na wo pesa wo de ba wo bi no bi ashempo the Hebrew writer is saying that God needs to chastise us to prove our sonship in Him. He wants us to be followers. He has called us for heaven. Israel were called as a first son unto God. They had earthly calling. But we Gentiles, we have heavenly calling. We are waiting for the Messiah to come. And he is going to enter into program with us. Where we are going to rejoice with him forever and ever. There is a great joy awaiting for us. And the Lord said we are going to help him to administer. We are going to help him to administer his kingship. We shall reign with him. Revelation chapter number one, let's go there, verse five and six. Revelation chapter one. Beloved, our identity is not on earth. From Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the Father of the dead of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that love us, wash us from our sins in his own blood. And he has made us kings, priests unto God and his father. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. He has made us kings and priests in heaven, in eternity. We are going to reign and we are going to be the priests were the friends of God in the Old Testament kings were put into place by God priests it was God who appointed them so what we are going to become in the future is so amazing it's a mystery. Jesus is a king. And Jesus is a high priest. We are going to be like him. But before then we must be servants. Saying let us keep on doing what the Lord is calling us to do. I know that as the days are growing, the challenges are going to be high. We are going to hear all kinds of challenging uh, voices. But we shouldn't allow any of those things to change what we are. We can never be able to change what people think or say about us. What I think about you shouldn't change you, please. Let God be truthful. That all men be liars. Verse 10 of chapter number 5. Revelation chapter 5 verse 10. And God or Jesus has made us unto our God kings and priests. And we shall reign on the earth. We are not going to reign in heaven alone. He's going to bring us on the earth also. So heaven and earth will collide and it will be one country. And where the Lord rules, we rule also there. What does it mean? Mean that we will always have access to go to God whenever we want to. We enter into the throne room and say, Lord, I've just come to entertain you. And the angels will not stop us. God will be glad to see us there. Whenever the Father needs you, He just called you. Come, call, go and call me, Gabriel. 
And the Lord will begin to show us certain things. Saints, heaven is going to be the most excited place. I want you to know that we are going to rejoice forever with the King. So, so long as we are here, let us begin to dream about that place. He said he will give us the anointing of gladness. Anointing is the presence of God that dwells upon a man. That causes a person to do things above human points of reasoning or human strength. Listen to Psalm number 45 verse 7. Psalm 45 verse 7. Thou love righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore God, thy God, had anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. What say what Amen. He is going to anoint us with the oil of gladness. Kings were anointed. Priests were anointed. So what the Lord is going to say, going to do to us tomorrow is, He's going to anoint us before we can live in heaven. You don't know what you are going to become very soon. You would have told your friends, Hey, come on, look at me. Tomorrow I'm going to be a king. I never forget a friend of mine who wanted to become a millionaire for one day. Therefore, he borrowed a huge amount of money, went and buy diamond in the box that he never knew that it wasn't diamond. This heavenly journey, we don't need money to do that. All that we need is the favor of God. Be around the rightful people. Walk with the holy and the righteous men of God who are want to go to heaven by hook or crook. That is who we are. Therefore, I'm appealing to you. Listen to what your Savior is saying today. Say, there is an anointing of gladness which is great and wonderful that few of my children can even begin to comprehend it. This anointing will identify you with me and with the Father. It is the same covering as the Father's. The same glory that which is of the Father will come upon us. It's a signal other covering than the covering of the anointing which comes from me. All other coverings are only coverings of the flesh. They will leave you naked that great day. When I return for my judgment on that day if you don't have my covering, nothing of you can stand. Many cannot be able to stand before my throne to give account of what they were wearing. 
Today the Lord is putting that anointing on us. Every sacrifice that we make. Every sin that we let go. Every thought and feeling and challenges. That we people pushes on us if we are able to let go. The Lord will see us through. The type of business that we do, Santa, we meet, not even Santa, we meet challenges, behaviors. Somebody want to hug you. Somebody want to beat you. Somebody want to bite you. You go through so many things. Some will inflict pains. Sometimes even among their colleagues. They want to inflict pains on you. How we go about these things. How we go about them. They are giving us eternal rewards. Amen. Amen. Sometimes when they hit you, you try to prevent. You can prevent and somebody's hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting at a point, you become a little bit agitated. You try to push the person now, away now and maybe you push the person hard. And the law will be very upset. So ask God, Lord, so can't I protect myself? He said, no, leave the situation. Leave it. When you know that the point is too hard, just leave it. Whatever the person is doing, just leave him in that situation. I believe we need to apply these things every day. We are dealing with situations that are very challenging. Leave what people think about you. Don't try to respond to them. Because if you do that, you may hurt yourself. The aim of the enemy is to use ourselves to inflict pains on ourselves. What he has lost is what belongs to us in heaven. He doesn't want any one of us to go and inherit that place. So the Lord Jesus Christ came by his own blood preaches us back to the Father. And the blood was so expensive to the Father and it has become so extremely expensive to some of us. The coverage that we are putting on is the coverage that the blood of Jesus is giving to us. It is a costly price. That very few are willing to pay the price for that anointing. The Lord said one must begin to love righteousness and hating darkness. There must be a complete turning away from all that will destroy. Mar and contaminate your spiritual eternal life. You and me must make it a point. Determined efforts. That we want to separate ourselves from anything that will mar or contaminate our spiritual garment. How can we do it? 
We need to love righteousness. We need to hate wickedness. And the only way to love, to hate wickedness is to love righteousness. We can't do the two at a time. We can't love wickedness and love righteousness. It's very sad. There are many people that they assume that they are teaching holiness. But until you bring the total holiness into place, they never know that what they are doing is not complete. Until you stand for the righteous cause. They are not aware that there are still area that they are compromising the lord has brought us here to leave no stone on ten so that we might be able to make it we shouldn't allow any stone to remain as it is being on ten any Deception that the old churches have spread around the heart of people must be removed. This morning I was at work after a hard, stressful night. A lot and I was not able to sleep. I have only one and a half, one hour to go. So, um... I need to lie down. I was asking God, Lord, please give me, talk to me. I need a revelation. So I found my senior brother, who is a catechist Presbyterian, leading me into my village again. And he was saying that this elderly man, he was a preacher, he was a pastor, and he has taught so many lies. He has built houses and he has planted a garden. I found myself cutting down all the flowers in that garden. So the wife came and asked me, are you the one cutting? I said, yes. Saints, when I wake up, I say, wow. This is where the Lord has called us into. Anything that stands against the ways of God, we must be able to approach them. Any standard that the people of old could not live, we must be able to lift them. We are not going to get it easy. But we need to do them. The Lord is asking, do you love righteousness? Do you hate evil? Then you can walk with me. Hating wickedness is the result of loving righteousness. The more you love righteousness, the more you will hate wickedness. The more you will love righteousness. The more you can hate wickedness. Now in that loving and following after righteousness, there is a glorious anointing the Lord is saying, for my anointing is bound together with righteousness. The anointing of God is always related to righteousness. If you are anointed, if God have anointed you, and you don't promote righteousness around you, it's a matter of time. 
That anointing will fade away. You love righteousness and you hate wickedness. Therefore, the Lord your God have exalted you among and above your companions. Today, there are people that come on, on Facebook, on YouTube, on World World. Oh, this man of God is anointed. This man of God is of God. Any people bray, any people on social media, YouTube, any Facebook, any people pay, any people be say, what they want me here? Nyamia strong, nyamia yes, strong. Who we need to? I'm I'm not careful. Any person nyamia engo strong. The Lord is saying, my anointing is always in relationship with righteousness. Now the God standard of righteousness must be preached. That sinners can never enjoy your messages. Unrighteous people can never hold on to it because it is so serene, so clean, so pure that they don't want even to come closer to you. Don't let the world deceive you, saints. They are affirming themselves. They can affirm the righteous people. Why? Because they've reduced their standard. And they are telling you that those pastors are also holiness pastors. If your wife is not practicing holiness, your members in your church are not practicing holiness. They are not living the standard of righteousness that God is requiring. Yes, your call is of the Lord. But your future may not be with the Lord. Let us examine ourselves. What God has said is true. What the occultism people are saying are lies. Let them expose themselves. But they shouldn't come into our area because they don't know anything on that area. I don't care what they say about those pastors. If their members are not practicing what the Bible is teaching, I'm afraid. Not only their members are going to miss it, but the pastors as well. Why? The more you love righteousness, the more you hate wickedness. You can love heaven and embrace hell in your churches. You can love God and entertain the Lucifer in your church. It can never work. The two are always in contrast. The Lord said, my anointing is in connection to the standard of righteousness that I have set for my name to be glorified. Listen to what the Lord said. Many who had the anointing when they walk in righteousness have lost it. Because they are forsaking the ways of righteousness. They have turned away from the ways of God. Most of these pastors that you see them, some of them started well. They were fasting and they were praying seriously. They were doing all kinds of things for God. Until they contaminated their spirit. Although most of them might not be preaching holiness. But the standard of God was being preserved at a certain level. By the day they began to love wickedness, 
Embracing wicked deeds. Accepting wicked deeds. Allowing their wives and their children to perform wicked deeds. The spirit of the Lord left them. The spirit of the Lord left them. The Holy Spirit will leave every person that turns away from the counsel of God. And one of the holy, the secret thing in the things of the Spirit, when the Holy Spirit leaves immediately, Satan will come there. Immediately, one like the angel of light will come and possess you. You begin to flow. Your gift even will begin to increase. And people will be saying, hey, this man now, he's on fire. The Lord will be watching you for some time if you come back to him. Until such a man will come to his senses and say, no, something is wrong. Because the anointing of the true, genuine anointing of God doesn't endorse evil. If we say, baby, it doesn't anoint people which are not of God. It does not even lay his hands upon people who are not of God. He doesn't want to even associate with people who are not of God. The devil is working hard. So you and me, we must be content with where God has placed us today. Work out our salvation. And throw every load. That can easily distract us. The Lord said, Call to all you know who have had anointing to come out of which destroys them and return again to me that they again can be anointed with gladness. And you who have ever lost the anointing of gladness rejoice in me. I say again and again, I say rejoice. Have you lost the anointing of God? Have you lost your passion for God? We are partakers of heaven. Saint, let us hate this world. Let us hate money. And everything that money can help us to afford. But the Bible is the root of all evil. Root are always connected to the seed. Root comes first before even the seed will, will, will bring a leaf out. The strength of every fruit is his roots. Any fruit, before it comes out, the root comes down first. Amen. Amen. You don't know that. I'm just thinking about. I'm just. Go and do your biology again. <laughs> is it biology or geography? Yeah, there's a root that comes out. What is it biology? Who are you? It's biology. It's biology, yeah. Mm. Let's go and do our agric. I think that's agric. Yeah, but it's still science. Yeah. Science, science yeah? yeah. Every fruit it needs roots first before it can stand. Every faith needs foundation first before it can grow. 
So the Lord is calling us to challenge our Ruth gaining environment. So that we may not labor in vain. Don't allow anything to destroy your roots. Because your future is in the roots. If the tree will stand. That fruit which has become is becoming a tree because the future of every tree is the fruit. Okay, <laughs> when you cut off that tree, mm. burn it, and you still have a, the seed, mm. you can get another tree out of them. So, uh, okay, so what, what do you guys explain? The Lord doesn't want to destroy the tree yet unless all the fruits have been arrested and put have been, have been collected and put in the fire. At this time, we still have the tree of knowledge of good and evil operating in us. So we must be very, very careful and be attentive to what we listen to. Must be able to discern that which is of God and that which is from man. And the one which is from us. So that we may wage war against that which is not of God. And live for him. Forever and ever. Amen. 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 Uh, I don't think there is any question. Uh, is there any question? Please, I have a question. Ah, Please, Jennifer, I, question. I knew that you have it because the Spirit of God was telling me, Jennifer, I have a question. <laughs> Jenny, tell me. <laughs> uh, please, um, about the heavenly yes. citizenship. Um, I know that yeah, being a citizen, yes, okay. Uh, Nathan, <laughs> being hmm. a citizen, um, you, you, you don't need to work for it. It's something that you are born with it, or sometimes you acquire it. Okay, so I want to understand our heavenly citizenship. Nathan, hi, I want to understand our heavenly citizenship. That why is it that our heavenly citizenship is it something that we are born automatically with it? Or we need to work to acquire it. Okay, that's a good question. Our heavenly, yes, sir, friend, and your mere friend, I say, or so, ah, yeah, 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 or so, man, oh, as I say, yeah, yeah, Jimmy B, and answer, sir, what we are to Christianity is a faith based uh, religion. Now, Christo, son, a GD, a GD, a son. The book of John, the chapter number one, says that, I think the verse 12, but as many that believe in him, he gave them power to become the children of God. So we come into this world as citizens of heaven automatically. But we lose our citizenship through the tradition and the culture that we were born into. And because of that, we need to work out for. We need to re that is why he called adoption. So through adoption we regenerate it again. Heavenly citizen can be lost. It is not permanent. You can lose it. So that is why Apostle Peter I say Paul said, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For so anything that we can lose, me, we need to work for that. 
And that work is what he is saying that hate wickedness. That is the work. And love righteousness. That is the work we need to do. The one that we render our love to will become his citizen. Jenny, is it clear? Yes, please. I have another question, please. Question is, um, please, my next question is, um, if we are heavenly citizens, then it, citizens, then it means that um, our thinking pattern, our mindset, everything should be that of heaven. But we are heaven, we are we are heaven citizens living on this earth. So why is it that um, the demand of this earth has rather occupied? Our, our, mm. our thinking pattern because mm. if we are that then we are supposed to exactly that's what i want to all right dear jenny we stand it says yeah yeah or so for dear and then as i say you know no as i think you have been in your soul strategy now so i didn't in a year bria i didn't be in your soul strategy and in the same way in a roman the chapter number two which is very famous scripture to all of us I beseech you, brethren, with the mercies of God to present. Present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. And then he go to the Next to he said, don't be conformed, meaning that we have the chance to conform or be transformed. Theologians put in this way, human being is free moral agent. Free moral agent means we have the right to choose. We are free. We have. A, we are agents to our moral choices. We are agents. And that is one of the deceptions of man. So we think that we can choose to do what we want. And this have drifted us away from our purpose. So from childhood, if we are able to be brought up to think that like I'm not free to do what I want, mm -hmm. I'm not free, definitely we will, we will have some uh, highest percentage of the ratio standard mm. which is hard to work with us at all times. So in verse number two, Apostle Paul said, don't be conformed but transformed by the renewing, meaning that our minds must be renewed. How can we renew our minds? By programming our mind according to the word of God. So it is only the word of God that can renew us. The citizens of heaven, they practice Bible alone. So every day, all that their mind is programmed is Bible, 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 Bible. But here is this world that we are living in this sinful world, which we are not part of it. And that is why King David said, I was conceived in the evil and in iniquity my mother br brought me out. 
and it's in a uh, oh, here, David was a bonimo and that men are a woman. Never more, you must also not tell me. So, here we, we were brought up by people that thought that they, we thought that they were Christians until we came into the right panel. We never knew that they weren't Christian, they were too far away from what they call Christianity. And it's yeah, 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 Heavenly citizenship in the making is not automatic. So I buy a Osuruni and I say Osuruni. How do I say citizen? Osuruni ba. Osuruni ba no. Anya dia anya prakuso be fanya me idi ana anya hua anya hua. It's a work. Anya juma. To remove all those worldly rubbish out of our minds. Now look at how many years you program your mind to think that way. The first language that you spoke, you learn how to speak, is maybe mama, papa, and the next one is insults. The next thing that you were trained is to take things for yourself because we know that when you keep it, that is what belongs to you. You don't give to, attend to every person all the time. Therefore, you need to keep it. Another thing is to defend yourself. You need, you must stand. Is it, is it, is it, is it, uh, what do they call it? The, the survivors of the fittest. If you are not fit, you won't survive. So the, this way we build self, 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 self centered, self awareness, self this, self this, self this. So before we be aware, we have lost the nature of. Of the citizenship of heaven, which is open, and that you are still not afraid. And it's you know, say yeah, 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 yeah. We are saying, I'm yet, yes, yes, yes. See, I'm coming. I'm going to be what this ah. Person, me, I'm coming. I'm not at the end. I'm a warrior. And yes, I know. My yes, sure, Osro, Osro, Subanya, I'm not the man. Yes, I'm not person. Car, yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, Osro, man. Yes, sure, sir, is Subanya. Another translation in the Bible say that Adam and Eve when they were naked, they were naked, but they weren't ashamed. Before, before. But the day they sinned, they became ashamed. When the Lord was coming, they need to cover their nakedness. So let me run up because I've seen some hands up yet. So Johnny, the thing is, we need to renew. It's a work, and that is what the Bible teaches us to do. Now one negative word to be uprooted. You need about 100 positive words to be able to overcome that. <laughs> So you need to rehearse it, rehearse it, rehearse it, rehearse it, rehearse it, rehearse it. So you need to pre-program your mind that if he hits me, I'm not going to hit back. Mm -hmm. If he hits me, and unless you be in an environment that those things are being practiced, I'm telling you, you cannot make it. Sometimes when we go to work and we see how these European they treat the patients. To be honest with you, you are there and your heart is shaking like that, being an African, because you were not brought up in that manner. The sambo, a patient can slap a, a starve, a patient can do everything while because he is sick. 
e te de bia obi o yare no obetimi abo bi obetimi abo na ni so obetia ne ye ne ne opa bi afi se fa ne se o yare inti na be ye bia no untimi nya ne hwe and they will have time for you but africa go and do that you would die there you would even a child i was watching a documentary which is about to be revealed that even a pastor who is in a in a, in a children home as orphanage and a, a boy a young boy at age this man has just they should allow him to kill the boy there. I say, hey! So you can imagine the culture. So we need the word of God, the word, and the Holy Spirit above all things that can help us. So, Jenny, in short, it is a milestone that we need to carry and we need to jump. There are all hedges that we need to jump to be able to develop that mindset. And it takes preparation, it takes readiness. It takes determination to be able to make it. Other than that, we've lived in this sinful world too long. And we've come too far with it. We love it. We appreciate it. It look as if that is all that we know. And our personality has become sin. Mm. If you say full set or set your farm, who dear so. Now, you bend your memo as it to me and my yammy assembly, a rayan yan, yad yad juneno, a j copin says, and is suno, a basses, and yes, I dear, and yad dear crassy bet to me, a janana bet to me, and yaw so I juneno. Sister, blessing your hands is up. Maybe you want to add some for me, please. No, I, uh, no, I, uh, it's uh, because it is written in a uh, Luke chapter 6, verse mm -hmm. 29. And Jesus, Jesus said, if they slap you on one jaw, one side of your jaw, you turn that is and they slap the other one. Yeah, when, um, speaking, yeah, when you were speaking, you said uh, uh, you were asking God or the Holy Spirit, if uh, somebody is hitting you, what will you do? Say you should leave it. Will you stand there and allow the person to hurt you? Or you, you leave, leave the environment. That's what I was trying to say. Leave the environment. Ah, okay. It's because leave I didn't get you well. Yeah, it's better to leave the environment. Yeah, it's better to leave the environment. That's what I feel because too. Somebody have because somebody can have a cutlass. You will not stand there that no, the person will cut no, your hands before you, because you are defending yourself. To run away is not Amen. bad when it comes to dealing with yeah, physical things. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, better it's part to run of the away. process. Yeah. Leave the environment. Always look for the immediate exits mm -hmm. and make the exit free so that mm -hmm. you will stumble and fall there you know it's a blessing eh can say na so for eh can say say obi bowa na o dwune say bia say we gina ho na o block block and i say o o o stop ni pan then so o say no me say o yan say say we free bia ho kra if we say say we free bia ho dia o nya bon so be free be bia wo no if we say enipa be obukwa no timi e se kan ya na say ade be betimi dia pra wo with me and you know so on fast idea no in prince ya bon say one area that I want to also tell say is Jenny, we consist of three personalities. We are the spirit, we have a soul, or we are soul, we have the spirit of God living in our spirit, and we have body. And all these components all have their desire, their feelings, and their emotions. So we need to respond to the spirit, which is the one training us for heaven. Mm. Na sister, the number seven person me can add the can one say yeah 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 yeah. Any part of Romi and say yeah what eh yeah what eh any person ba akumu yeah yeah home home eh yeah 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 okra ni home home any yeah woni pebi enom. Eni zisa ni ni part me say me say suni na so biya e woni subai home home ni woni subai okra ni woni subai ena home home ni woni subai. Eni te si ama ya home kwa na home home no esa sa ya june ni etimi edi atina sa wasuma. So uh. Basically, the scripture that we read has given us so many things that we need to do. We are not going to go much into that. He said that we should yield to God. The Romans chapter 12 that we read, he said we should yield to God, yield our body to God. So all our feelings and emotions, we need to yield to God for that changes to take place. Mm. For our mind to be renewed, we need to yield to God. 
na ye o kwai roma fo eh enguma edu me no tuche mu me no wose ye fo ye ni padua no emma nyame nti ase ye nkase ye adwene se ye de ye no emma nyame na ama nyame ama no ama na sam ho kwan etimi asiesie ye asesan nti no eh ye adwuma se de be ma nyame ne nyame enso asiesie ye make it a living sacrifice it is us who have to make it God will not make it for us. Mm -hmm. We have to make it ourselves. And so do eh odu wo pe e ma nyame se wo de bo aforie ama no no. E nyame na e ya ma o. Eh wo na wo si wa dwene posa mede mede me ho enam e si ho ama nyame mede ma ne o nyame nyama ntwo na se wo ye saa e wasade se wo ye saa. Make it holy. It is your responsibility to make it holy. Mm -hmm. It's not God's responsibility. Na o ka se mo nya ne kronkron a enye e wo wasade se wo ba ni padua ne kronkron e nyame adwuma e wo adwuma. Number four, he said, make it acceptable unto God. Hey, how can I make it acceptable unto God? So I need to put my body, which contains my soul and my spirit, in a position that God can accept it. So it's a hard work. Matthew chapter 7 verse 22 says that we should make our body full of light. Because he said if the light in us goes off, then we are no longer. So our body must be full of light. So our body must be presented in the place where the word of God, which is the light of God. Jesus is the light. That shine upon all human beings mm -hmm. so that we can see clearly. So we need to give the body to Christ entirely. Now, trust I'm not a cafe, a nipper, Diana, Yaman, nipper, Diana, and the canyon and shrank a cassie, and no say ye juma, and say ye near ma, a man, the Pediano, a shrank, then the canyon, I cassie, if you say. Roman chapter 6 verse 11 says, Likewise, reckon ye also yourself to be dead. So the body must be reckoned as dead, so that the spirit can live in us. He said, indeed, it is dead to sin, but alive to God. So the body might be reckoned as alive to God. So, uh, in short, there are so many things that the body needs to do. We will learn all these things. I can't give all these answers for today. It must be disciplined. When the body adapts, when the human being adapts to things, saints, it is not easy. That I have made the journey so difficult for all of us. We need to refuse the enslavement of the body and we need to render as a slave to God. Roman chapter 8 says we should mortify it. Another word, to mortify. Mm -hmm. That is also every day we need to kill it. When somebody is doing to mortuary, yeah, postmortem, dead, mortify it, kill it. Can we do that? Now, okay, we trust some new woman from my sister. The BLC or see your queen in the Pediano. In the BIA, sorry, I say, I do not say the Pediano. And this account to me, now you couldn't say home, woman. Yeah, money and TRC and my Riasia Tinka. Your woman, we are saying, Subani Bonnet, I think, and then mom, a bear at the bed, yes, a four and my ready. God bless you, Jenny, for making it more lovely today. Is there any more? We still have five minutes. I can't, oh no. All right. Okay, I am okay. No, no, go ahead. We, we are not meeting this afternoon, so say it today. We are going. <laughs> ah, hey. <laughs> okay, please. So, um, in in a nutshell, our our citizenship that we have, we need to yes. work to preserve yes. it, to maintain it, Absolutely. so that that we will lose it. Just like when when um we we a, a person mm. get a citizen of a country, you know that you know, you know the right. do's and the don'ts. If you don't go by mm -hmm. it, you will lose it. 
this is what we we we, we should we mm. should do as Christians that our citizenship mm. we can easily we lose it. So we need to preserve it by the word of God in holiness mm. and in righteousness, mm. so that mm. it will be complete. Yes, sir. Johnny, do you know that? Amen. Do you know that? Maybe we have never thought of it. That there are people who are in the country they are not allowed to vote. Mm -hmm. There are people in the country they are not allowed to do certain jobs. They've lost their citizenship. Although they are citizens, there are so many things they are, they are not allowed to do them. No, exactly. So they were born into it, yet they, they can't do so many things. Certain job, they can't do it. I'm a citizen and so what? Why? As convicts. You defile your citizenship. So even the bona fide citizenship, we can lose it on our way. Hmm. Certain benefit you can enjoy as citizens. So saint let her be very sensitive. Those who have lost the earth, they want to uh, promote evil in us so that we will also lose ours. I don't believe that wearing earrings can cause you to lose your citizenship in heaven. Brother, if you don't believe, the Bible says so. I don't believe that fornication, looking into a woman's uh, nakedness alone, it is not alone. That is the ruse regarding losing our citizenship. Before we lost it, we lost it for our culture. We lost it for our own ways, our traditional accepted norms. We lost it once. And now we need to renew it. We come to Christ, we need to renew it. And that renewal is not one-day process. Yeah, we must be baptized. We I wish that we can deal with that in the afternoon. How can we? No. We won't <laughs> come in the afternoon. <laughs> Uh, so the, the children of Israel in Egypt, they literally lost their citizenship. They cried to God, cried to God, and the Lord came back and said, Before I can give back your citizenship, I need to take you out of this place. Mm -hmm. So they surrendered to God. They became obedient and they followed God. Or in the Red Sea, they were separated from Egypt that day. Baptism. When they went through baptism, they were separated from Egypt from that day. They went through Jordan. And the Lord said to them, have rolled away the reproach from you. So you see that process, how God took them all these areas to take off the things that were left behind their mind and all kinds of things before they entered into the promised land. All the old members, they all died. None of them qualified because the world has become one with them and they have become one with the world. So saints, for us to make heaven unless the world is out of us. Now, so now, so my mom, my whole quiet, you know, I change my cook, come in, I'm at the same. One more to me, I'm called Bosha Assassin. If it's nobody, we are so bad back home. 
and it's how they answer. Yeah, my whole crime and yammy and ye, if we are saying free and more, and also so every year, no, a bear or say yes. So we call baptism, we need to baptize. We'll learn about all these things in the near future. Please remind me of that. To be baptized means to be immersed, to become one. We've been baptized into the world, and we must go out of the world and be baptized into God. Now, so we need water baptism, the Holy Spirit baptism, we need the word of God baptism. So until we have gone through that, that oneness is not completed. So that citizenship is not bragging, oh, I'm going to heaven and because I'm a Catholic member. That's it, brother. God bless you for that. <laughs> Amen. God bless you all for joining and God bless you for the questions. I believe it were answered. We are not meeting this afternoon as usual but today to uh to, um it's a family day. So Tuesday we want to give it to your family for you to enjoy your families. So we have so many videos over there. Go to Facebook and I'm also going to send you some messages today. I think I've sent you some. Just listen to them and pray along with. Or go to any other brethren that have other platform. Go and enjoy them also. Go and add it to them. If it is not good, then stick to what you have. <laughs> Amen. Shall we pray? Maybe you are listening to us. We might have said something that is challenging you. Say, hey, the journey is too hard. I thought that it's so easy. The Lord said that when we surrender to Him, there is nothing that can imprison us. So let's surrender our ways to Him. That is where the oneness will become. Let a desire to hate what he hates and desire to love what he loves so that the anointing of gladness will come you might be willing to do whatever he is telling us to do the fulfillment of god releasing his presence into our life is in our obedience Shall we pray and talk to him? The so Lord, come and reign in my heart, come and rule my soul, my mind, and my spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we are hungry for you. We are thirsting for you, O oh God. We need more of you, Lord. We need more of your strength. We need more of your power, O oh God. As we focus on you, as we focus on you, we pray that you continue to glorify yourself in us, O oh God. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Let the dew of heaven bring the refreshment that we need to accomplish the task, O oh God. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, oh God. We love you and we celebrate your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. With God all things are possible. Our names are there already. Sin takes them out. Righteousness restored. The only thing that would take your name out of that citizenship is sin. Hate it. Block it. 
Sine kwain. Disallow it. E manu huwa kwain. Hallelujah. Amen. We can make it. Nebe tu mi aye. Pray this prayer after me. Say, Jesus, my heart is yours. My mind is yours. My will is yours. I surrender it all unto you. And I make you owner of my life. Wash away all my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Establish your throne in my heart. Reign in me. Please give me your heart. As you destroy mine. Please give me your will. As my will will die. I want to become one with your spirit. If baptize me with your blazing fire. Burn everything within me. That doesn't glorify you. Let me live eternally for you. Thank you. Because you love me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Finally, let's soak ourselves in the blood, even as we are going. Father, that which you have given to us, we seal it in the blood. We protect it, O God. We bring ourselves for you to protect us. Seal us, seal us, seal us. In the name of Jesus, we pledge allegiance with you today. That we will walk with you and talk to you. Show yourself strong. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship now. May the grace of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us in the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. You're my brother, you're my sister. See you tomorrow. Take me by your hands. Together we will walk until we can. There's no fall.